Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about multiple user virtual environments. And the one I'm reviewing today is actually called Seignition. And within this website and the software, it has a Fogstone Isle gaming area for students. What I really love about this is that it is math based. And I feel that sometimes math is a harder subject to target with. Um, technology, but especially with virtual environments, because people assume that when you're talking about virtual environments, you're referring to virtual field trips, and it's kind of aimed more towards science and social studies, maybe a little language arts, but more so those subjects. So finding one for math is great. And in this one here, students have um, an island environment that they can explore, and they can choose to build. And these are the different tools that you can build. You have a sawmill, a well, a building, a farm, ranch, a factory, and a panel, a building. So you can paint a building. And in order to build these different tools, you have to answer questions about introductions to fractions or equivalent fractions. You can answer fraction addition problems. And the great thing about this too is they build on each other. So um, if students are struggling to be introduced to fractions, they're really not gonna be able to add them. So it, it each tool builds on it itself and I think that's really crucial in students understanding. So I've already built a sawmill by, and I answered several questions and did several activities about fractions and what fractions mean, numerator, denominator, etc. But if I wanted to build a farm. Growing fruit is very important for a thriving town. So let's learn how to grow a farm of fruit pods. It walks you through first multiple water areas of, of the fraction. field so your plants grow. Any plants so after you watch the video about the game that you'll play in order to build the farm using multiplication, it allows you to choose where you want to put your farm. So I will just put mine over here. And then again, it's going to walk you through step by step. Um, very self-explanatory, very student directed, which I think is great. Um, the audience I think this is going to target is probably your upper elementary school or lower middle school students um, and help them through some of those basic skills that they need in order to build on later on.